Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lesson on packaging and this lesson is specifically for maths lit uh, students. Um, I have a box here and I want to know how many tins will fit into the box. So I'm going to look at um, the units first and we can see that our units are all the same, they're all in centimeters. So I want you to imagine that you are standing and looking into the box from the top. So basically this is the top view. So if we have a look on the side here, this will be the top view of the box. And we want to know how many um, tins will fit along the bottom of the box. And so we're looking at the top. So we're going to work with the diameter. And if you look at the diameter of the tin, you will see that the diameter here is six centimeters. So we're going to look at the length of the box and the length is 60 centimeters if we're looking at the diagram on the right hand side with looking at the top view. So the length divided by the length basically of the box divided by the diameter of the tin and that will tell you how many tins will fit along the, the length of the box. So that's going to be 60 centimeters divided by, um, here this is six centimeters. So you're gonna divide here by six centimeters and that will give us 10 boxes. So 10 boxes will fit along the length of the box. If we're looking at the width, how many will fit along the other side? We're going to say width of the box. So width of box divided by the diameter again and here we will have 50 centimeters divided by 6 centimeters. Now remember that your centimeters and centimeters they would cancel out. So here we have 50 divided by 6 and your answer is 8,33 so basically 8,3 recurring. Um, and so we can't have eight comma three um, tins and we can't, and what we need to remember is that with tins you can't round up you're always going to round down because we're talking about fitting these tins into the box so we'll fit them in and we'll have spaces in between so therefore we're going to say approximately eight tins okay and above it was approximately a 10 tins. So if we're looking at the bottom row, we are looking at the number of tins would be 10 times 8, and that would give me 80 tins. Oops. And now if we're looking at how many tins, now remember that we need to fill the box. So if I need to fill the box, I need to say, I'm going to just take this tin and move it, and to show you. So I'm going to look at this tin and I'm going to say, if I took this tin and I stacked them one on top of the other, one, two, three, like that, I need to know what is the height of this tin. Okay, so I haven't given this tin a height. So I'm going to say, if this tin is 12 uh, centimeters here, and I want to know how many tins are going to fit one on top of the other vertically, I'm going to say, um, height of the box, height of box divided by the height of the tin, okay? And that would be 70 centimeters divided by your 12 centimeters, okay? And so we're going to do 70 divided by 12. And that gives me 5,8. So here I have 5,8. Now we can't round it up to 6 because if we round it up, the, the tins will go above the box and the box will not be able to close. So therefore we round it down. We'll say therefore approximately 5 tins will fit height-wise. So our previous answers, 10 times 8. So all together, we're going to say 10 times your 8 times your 5 tins. 
So here we're going to have, we multiply them all together. And so, or you could just say 80 times 5 from your previous answer, and that's going to give you 400 tins. So basically 400 tins will fit in this box. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and follow me in my next video.